We got Blue Terror going with Charizard. And we got Mr. Ganondorf, the king of all evil. Okay. Yeah, man, all of it. All the evil, he's the king of it. Ooh. Oh. Choked him. Oh. Give me your face. Yeah, that's a poor future for evil. <laughs> now, I like what um, Butera is starting up the match with, just trying to control space, although I didn't like that flank he, though. Yeah, he, he was trying to pull back and then do it forwards, but he ended up being reversing it. This is hard for Ganon to get by, though, on the account of that platform covering the top. Ooh, Rock Smash. Not the full hit, though. <laughs> it's, the, it's not the brawl one, but you can lose 60%. If everything hits you, like, it's ridiculous. It, 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 oh, F Smash! Oh. Good grief! And Charizard is not a light guy, and he just got bodied. Ganon does not care what your weight is. Nope. It doesn't exist. I'm going to call that move the Gordo Air. What's his, what's his, um, I, I was about to mispronounce it. What species is, is Ganon? I forget. Gerudo? Gerudo, yeah. I'm going to call it the Gerudo Elbow, the S-Mag, instead of the People's Elbow. Oh, God. Yeah, man. So already, same percent, not the same Hold stock. I just turned around and... Yep, kick. And Sparta kick, let's go. How are we going to finish this off? It has to be nice. Oh. Yeah, Flare Blitz, still living, because Ganon is that, is that heavy. He does not care about your feelings, man. No, I would say go for that edge guard there to get rid of Ganon. Cause and Blue Terror goes for his Seismic Toss. Now, this is definitely doable because Ganon is gimpable. And you have a character with three jumps. You can do something about it. Yeah. Okay, down throw, forward in. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh he misses the follow-up. Yeah, he died in. Probably a good idea considering the rage that, that um... Oh, he, goes away. he went super high up. Ooh. Oh, kicked. He booted. That's it. And See. we have liftoff. See, it wasn't exactly a risky situation because the punish that Charles was going to get if you were to block wasn't going to be that strong. Also, for those who don't know, that's, that move can almost crack your shield now, the aerial one, if, it, if you block it. Now, what it looks like to me is Blue Terror had his game plan ready ready to go, but as soon as it got disrupted, it, this whole strategy it fell apart. He really was going to go with a flamethrower zoning strategy, but now it's time for business of the yeah. serious category, Sonic yeah. Speed. Yeah, once he uh, messed up his flamethrower, <laughs> that's where everything just went downhill. All right. So Blue Terror, more known for his Sonic than his uh, Charizard, is probably a much better matchup. Of course, Ganon cannot catch this guy unless Blue Terror just basically runs into his arms. And right now, that's exactly what he's doing. 63% in a moment's notice. Good God, Ganon hit so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic has to. Sonic's the better character, and he wins his matchup. But he does it by just avoiding everything, just making him whiff everything. Like it's really easy for him to do. He might have to play a little bit more patient now. Well, he's going to. Otherwise, he's going to die from something random. Right. At oh my God! He almost got side beat. Because people, people here is probably used to fighting SDA. Some dumb. Okay, I got you guys. So they're used to that. But this guy doesn't exactly do what SDA does. SDA just doesn't care. This guy is actually, he uh, really does he, it. He's, he's thinking about it. Yep. You see him starting to walk inch forward a little bit, and that's a follow-up. No, no good. Nope. nope. It went right over his head, and oh, down tilt, and that kills. I like what Blue Terror was about to do. He just spaced it a little bit too much, and that's a punish. All right, I'm about to be mad. All right, oh. nice F smash, but Blue Terror needs to take advantage of that uh, offstage game a little bit more against Ganon. He's afraid of getting snatched. Well, he has spring. Oh, my goodness. Run to the up smash. Ooh. He's not happy about that, but he still, you know, he has a slight lead. He has field control. Oh, my God. Don't do it. All right. Nice nice catch on the follow-up. All right. And Buter has been talking about going, doing cross-ups more into pivot tilts and moves and what have you with. Oh, up. Ooh. That happened. It should God. happen. No, he just wasn't ready for it. Very risky, but you know what? He has 11 percent. He probably he wasn't gonna die, even if Ganon oh. did uh, 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 a wizard's foot. Up, uh, I mean, actually, with rage, you possibly could have. You know, well, I mean, up air could have happened. Up B could have happened. Things happen. Yeah. Things gonna happen there. <clears throat> and now he's forced to switch to Game and Watch. I guess at least he believes he does. Going to Battlefield for the final game. Um, this matchup is still pretty similar in the fact that Sign is gonna be very. Should be playing very patient, just running circles around Game & Watch. Game & Watch is neutral, uh, pretty limited. Has some cool stuff. If you know how to play against them, it doesn't really matter. Like a dash attack, up smash, what have you. All right. Nice conversion on the spin dash combo. That's, that's max damage at that percent. 
That's what I like to see. Game Watch trying to be a little patient. Gets the back air. Right now, Game Watch has to be careful what moves he throws out. Sonic will be there to punish. Uh, no he, punish on the back air. Yeah, he let that happen, too. Like, he just let it rock. Could have tilted or something. This is a brawl Game Watch. He can't throw things out like he used to. Yeah, it is more lag. All right. He's trying to get this dash attack game started. It's, it's not working out. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. He tried to, like, ledge hop and into a neutral air, but he's holding down still. So, the key to his death. Yeah. <laughs> That's where his apartment's at. That's all it is. Like, let me just go there real quick, get a sandwich, and come back on the stage. And right now, this is looking pretty grim. Right now, uh, Butera has all the advantage right now, all the momentum. Um... I don't even think Game & Watch can really um, gimp Sonic. So an early kill is probably out of the question unless he gets like a 9 or something. Okay. He is doing it though. He's 116, so he just need an up smash. I don't know where he's going. Or a toot toot. I think he's out of the range for it now, up throwing the toot toot. But um, in terms of because of the, um, th the percentage of Sonic. But it is Battlefield, so maybe let's see what happens. Oh, he oh. messed up. He, he buffered the up air way too soon. Wow. He did up tilt on the ground. Yeah, he definitely wanted what you were talking about. And now Game Watch at 53, he is running out of time fast. <laughs> uh, oh, that F smash. And right now, Blue Terror realizes there's no need for him to overextend at all. Down throw. All right. Was looking for the regular getup option. Yeah, platform protection against that key, which would have which would have should have stealed that stock. And right. down throw again. Down throw, high percentage, so he's not gonna hit the ground as easily when he flies off. Nice F tilt. Um, and Game One is super light, so an F tilt on the edge could kill him. Okay, four right. tilt. The crossover. Oh, mm, that was risky. Very risky. I'm surprised that, and, you know, back throw is definitely online for Sonic too. So he has too oh. many things to worry about. Get the silent spot twice. Ooh, and he went it. for it too. The mm, unfortunately, he saw that up smash and he just mistimed it. Yeah, and the misspaced forward airs, and getting a soft spot. The strong forward definitely would have finished him off there. Yeah.